comes a call and drops a marble from the sky. Tin roof sounds alarm and wake up, child. Let this be a warning, says the magpie to the morning. Don't let this fade in summer pass you by. Don't let this fade in summer pass you by. I've identified the themes. It's kind of like finding a serial killer. You gotta go through a checklist, I guess. Something on the The record is called Middle Cyclone. I was about five songs in and I realized four of the five songs had tornado references. And one of them was This Tornado Loves You, which is what if a tornado fell in love with you? What does a tornado's love look like? It's probably pretty dangerous. Well, it started with moving to this farm last year. It's very creaky. There's a lot of places where windows are missing. It's pretty noisy and kind of delightfully, so I kind of like it. When we'd be playing and it would be going really well, and you're kind of doing that balancing thing when it's going well, when you know the take is going well and that you're probably going to make it to the end without messing up. And then there'd be a gust of wind through the barn and it would just make all your hair stand on end. It was really, it was really amazing feeling. And we set up a cardboard recording booth. It looks a lot like a uh, Little Rascals set. And we recorded six people playing piano at once. don't like writing love songs and so I don't really write them but then I also realized that every single song I ever write is a love song so of course the second I said that I ended up writing love songs for this record you can't give up acting tough it's all that I'm made of can't scrape together to ride the bus to the outskirts of the fact that I need love. And I had this barn with nothing in it, and so I thought it'd be hilarious to collect as many free pianos as I could get. And, and I liked the fact that these pianos were going to be thrown away and that nobody wanted them but we could make them into a great piano orchestra. It's like the Velveteen Rabbit, you know. He takes his dinner in the bed. Love sickened and infirm. Characters that live in the songs, they, they kind of live in my brain. They live between the world and history or memory. They kind of fall between the cracks. On the marble stairs. Yeah. It sounded really good though, it was cool. And you know what's extra cool? The frogs. Yeah. So at the end, when you're holding the pedal down, let's let it roll for a while just so we get some extra frogs. There are happy accidents all the time. And those are always the best parts of the record. And they're always the parts that happen in those little spaces where you're trying to cram the round idea into the square hole. The ones that come about when you're playing. Playtime is the most important time. It is the most button-down suit important part of your packing your lunch and going to your cubicle kind of important business job. There's a bug on my keyboard. You know what I mean? Like... fan of Harry Nilsson. He wrote this really beautiful song called Don't Forget Me. It is a really sad song, but then there's just a couple lines in it that are kind of funny, and that's where he pulls the Ray Davies on you. So that's kind of where the piano orchestra idea came in. It is our 21 piano salute to Harry Nilsson. <laughs> Some of them are kind of grumpy and are missing pedals and have cracked 
We have Shere Khan, the General Lee. One of them is an old player, but I'm going to take it apart and use its mechanisms to make something else. It's kind of over, as far as an instrument is concerned. Maybe I'll stick it out in the pasture and let a tree grow through it or something. That'd be a nice uh, way to end your life as a piano, I think. You know, they call them killer whales, but you seem surprised. I like using really old technology to make new sounds. That is an old analog delay machine. If you wiggle the arm on it, it goes woo, woo. I'm pretty collage -y in the stuff I do. It's kind of like I really love the Eiffel Tower, but I have popsicle sticks, so I have to make my Eiffel Tower out of popsicle sticks rather than steel, but I'm still going to make an Eiffel Tower. Told them I